Bitcoin has been falling very aggressively, and there's a lot of people who are out there spreading all sorts of rumors, FUD, uncertainty, and doubt. What exactly is the data saying, though? If we go ahead and we take a look, we know that Bitcoin, the digital decentralized currency, it just posted its worst quarter of performance since 2011. Bitcoin plunging 58% in this quarter is obviously incredibly painful to many of the people who are holding it. But what we do know is that most Bitcoiners, regardless of if there's volatility to the upside or the downside, they aren't actually selling the asset. Yes, the price has come down, but all the underlying fundamentals continue to strengthen. Everything from hash rate to Bitcoin's lightning network capacity to even wallet addresses on chain with various amounts of Bitcoin hitting all time highs. The underlying fundamentals continue to get stronger, even though price is dropping. If we go ahead and we take a look over here at Fundstrat, we've got a quote from Mark Newton. Bitcoin has had good success over the last dozen years and making cyclical lows every 90 weeks. Lows should be right around the corner according to the cycle composite, and one should be on alert in the month of July, looking to buy weakness for a healthy rebound. Just as sentiment seems to be reaching a bearish tipping point. Now, naturally, you can only look at data in a backwards looking fashion. We don't know what the future holds. Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency. It appears to be incredibly valuable for many, many people around the world. Over 150 million people are estimated to now hold Bitcoin, but it just posted the worst quarter since 2011. That means all the critics, all the naysayers, all those people who think it's going to zero, they're doing victory laps on the internet right now. They think they're dancing on graves, but they also thought that in every other bear market previously, sometimes you have to zoom out. You have to actually look and ask yourself, is my thesis, is my analysis of this asset, of this market, of the macro environment still valid? Do I still believe what I believed previously? And what I think we're seeing is that many Bitcoiners, not only do they believe what they previously said, but they actually think that much of what's breaking across the macro environment is simply proving what their predictions were previously. So there you have it, Bitcoin, the worst quarter in over a decade. But that doesn't mean Bitcoin's going away. In fact, Bitcoin's stronger than ever. And I tend to think that more and more people start closing their eyes to the price in the bear market. They start paying attention to what's actually important, adoption. And adoption only seems to be headed in one way, up and to the right. Hey you, did you like this video? Great, we make five of them a day and post them here on this channel. Make sure you're subscribed, like the video, and see you next time.